matchups are going to play a big man on Nash. You're not going to see Terry much against him as you see Nash in the lane, but they're opening up with Josh Howard on him. You'll see Finley against him. He has the ability to get to the basket. And Nash all the way underneath. He's got such confidence in his game right now. Oh, he's just so under, uh, uh, under control at all times. It's he's averaged 14 points a game with a miss right there from point blank range. Here comes Nash and in to Quentin Richardson. So Richardson not scoring from outside, two times inside. Nash, another assist. That's a smart pressuring Nash, trying to keep him in front of him. He'd like to make him a jump shooter. They'll live with that. They want Nash shooting the ball and not getting others involved. The other points, that's what we saw in game two when he had 15 and 12. And it's Steve Nash with the left hand. We saw a couple of those the other night in game three. How about 12 missed field goals the other night in the game? of Nash on the floor. Well, the reason he's with Nash right now is you see this running left-handed hook against Steve Nash makes it look so easy. They would like for Barbosa to play with Nash get into the game, get acclimated, and then when Steve Nash rests, they'll come back off the bench and Barbosa will be ready to run in this series. That's how they desperately miss Joe Johnson. This is Nash with the left hand. He's a right-handed shooter. <laughs> and Joe Johnson able to get inside and do the things they do so well. Now it's now 7-7 seven seven from the free throw line with Nash across the lane, defending his Howard. Doug talked about this at the beginning, a bigger guy on Nash. Barbosa for three with five seconds on the shot clock. Phoenix is a team that can hit you with a huge spurt. When was the last time as Nash puts up a three, his seventh try, Stoudemire back in, and his hook shot goes in. It finally goes in. When was the last time you think? Nash, Marion. Rebound by Jason Terry. Marion tries to take it away and dies, and Nash is in on the steal. That's why they call him the Matrix a non-factor inside other than his free throws. No fouls to give either way. Dallas plus 15 in fast break points and finally Nash gets one to go down. He's got a Phoenix high 13 with that three. The presence of Dan Pierre inside forced Sean Murray to take a tough shot. Nash again. And he hits right there. He's taken 12 shots. He's hit seven. He's got a Phoenix high 15. Third on Howard. You want to make sure you channel it in the right direction. He's going to fade away on this shot, Nash. Let's see if he hits him on the elbow. It looks like he hit him right on the elbow. Nash has just hit the technical free throw. It's a big play. Three free throws for Steve Nash. You know. On Stackhouse. And no one with four on the Suns. Richardson's got three for Phoenix. Phoenix has come out being the aggressor in this third quarter. That's what happens. When you start taking the ball to the basket, you will get those whistles. And Finley guarding him. Nash, oh, what a beautiful finger roll by Steve Nash, who's got a game-high 20 points, 8 of 14. The Mavericks have led by as many as 21. The Suns have led by as many as four. That's a three-point bomb nailed by Steve Nash. Ten of the Suns' 14 third-quarter points. Says we're a team that runs at like about 50 screen rolls a game. We did not do that in game three. Here's Nash once again. He's <laughs> putting on his best imitation of for the foul. Nash with a Stoudemire screen. <laughs> he's having one of those nights. He's got 27 points. By that guy right there, the MVP of the NBA, Steve Nash. Armstrong in the game trying to put a speed merchant on him, and that's not going to oh. work either. Nash just walks <laughs> right into the lane. Again, he makes the game look so easy. He keeps the loose ball at Barbosa, Marion, and Stoudemire on the Phoenix four. You see Armstrong, no pressure, and Steve Nash, 94 feet. And what'll happen, he'll bring a bigger defender on him then to try to use some strength against him. Look at this. Nash again. How easy can it get for Steve Nash? But see, they don't want him to kick out to the three-point shooters. That Nash has 31 in 31. Armstrong for three. Barbosa has it. A quick releasing Sean Marion at the other end. Avery Johnson's going to want to take a timeout. Down to 11. The words least respected of all. Well, you know, but he was frustrated because he didn't get to the foul line the other night before the quarter. There's a foul. See, now they got to change their defense here a little bit. See, this is Walter McCarty. You don't have to be so concerned about him as you are with Stoudemire. So now... You've got to be able to go at Nash, trap him, make him throw that ball back to Walter McCarty, maybe make him shoot a three-point shot. Finley picked up his second foul. 
three-point play converted by Nash, who has put in a fantastic 21 points of his 34 in this third quarter. Phoenix is at 49% from the floor for the game. Nash again! <laughs> Steve Nash has put in a game-high 36 in 33 minutes. Richardson with the dance on Terry and the crowd by Tim Peel. All this happening with Steve Nash on the bench. The lead has been cut to nine. Avery Johnson wants to take a timeout well, since the Memphis series. So they really miss him being on the floor. Three-point shooting. Steve Nash nails a three-point shot. And tonight, Nash, three of five, shooting the triple with a game-high 39 points. And knocks that one out of bounds with 16 on the shot clock. At the backboard, he got a piece of it. Nash over Dan Pierce. Come on now. Steve Nash with 41 points in 36 minutes. And as you see Barbosa talking to Jimmy Jackson, Jimmy Jackson wants to guard Stackhouse to take away his post play. Nash for three. Oh, Steve Nash has put in 44 points. That's within nine. <laughs> what an incredible game for Nash. Quinn <laughs> Richardson waiting to come back into the game for Barbosa. Stackhouse has put together an eight-point fourth quarter. Nash again. Slipping inside. He's got 46. Looks he tries to set a screen. Stackhouse attacks the rim. The quick releasing Marion from Nash at the other end. They scored in two seconds, but they can't keep trading baskets here. Three minutes to go. Press of the Mavericks tonight. They have certainly matched and surpassed the Phoenix Energy. That's a quick pass inside to Josh Howard, who's got a Dallas high 29. And Jason Terry hands out his eighth assist tonight for the Mavericks. See, his numbers don't say that he had a great game. But Sean, uh, excuse me, uh, Jason Terry. Cali. Nash with the game high 46. The other way. He's got 48 in 42 minutes. This guy is indefatigable. You have an indication on what that means? I that do, means coach. he doesn't get tired. I okay? got that. Thank you so much. I just wanted to help you, all right? And here's Nash. He's got 48. Will he try for 50? Marion for three. Nowitzki with it. And folks, we're going to take you back to Phoenix. With the series tied at two wins apiece, Dallas comes up with a clutch win in game four. The four teams that remain in the West, the Suns, the Mavs, the Sonics, the Spurs, all tied up in their respective series and two wins apiece.